So for this last part then, we've got to find out where the equation of this normal, where the line intersects the curve again at a point B, find the coordinates of B. Well clearly from the diagram you can see that that point B has to be say here. Um, we could mark it in then as just B. So it's going to be simultaneous equations then to get B between the normal and the hyperbola H. So let's just put down what those equations are then. We've got from the hyperbola, you can see that if we rearrange it, y equals c squared over x. Let's call that equation 1. And we've got our normal here, 3y equals 27x minus 80c. So that's the second equation. And all we need to do then is substitute say equation 1 into equation 2. So if we do that let's just say sub 1 into equation 2 and what that's going to give us is therefore 3 multiplied by c squared over x equals 27x then minus 80c. And if we multiply throughout by x to remove this x here, we therefore have 3c squared equals 27x squared minus 80cx. We've got a quadratic equation here, so we need to rearrange it. Let's take the 3c squared from both sides, and that gives us therefore 27x squared minus 80cx minus the 3c squared equals 0. And we would want to factorise this. And we get a few clues here to what the factors are going to be, or what one of them is going to be anyway, because we can see that we know it crosses the curve here at A, where x equals 3c. So that suggests that x minus 3c has got to be one of these factors. So I'll put x minus 3c in here. So that means we've got another 27x has got to go here. And that would mean that to get the minus 3c squared on the end, it's got to be a plus c here. And you can check out that you get your minus 80cx term. So there it is, factorised. So we can see that from this, we're not interested that x minus 3c equals 0 leading to x equals 3c because that would be the point A. We just know that at B, okay, at B, we can see that 27x plus c must equal 0. 27x plus c must be equal to 0. And it follows from that that x must be equal to minus c over 27. So there's our x coordinates then at b. And all we need to do is substitute this into one of these two equations then to get what the corresponding y value would be. And it makes sense to go into one if you ask me. So I'm going to sub that sub into equation one. And that gives us y equals c squared then divided by x divided by minus c over 27. And that gives us, if we multiply top and bottom by 27 and also divide top and bottom by c, we end up with y equaling minus 27c. So the coordinates of b then are going to be minus c over 27 for the x coordinate and the y coordinate is minus 27c. Okay?